If you're not a person with a favorite spider, this video may not be for you. But I'm always fascinated with these creepy crawlies, especially on my own farm, and I study them day and night. These are a few spotted so far this year. Color, size, and variation always add to the interest. First, the orb weavers. These are the spiders that spin complex webs and are usually found only in the deep outdoors. Most colorful are the Argiopes, the big black and yellow garden spider, and the banded Argiope. These hang in their webs and are often attacked and eaten by birds. The western spotted orb weaver, one of my own favorites, is seen here eating its own silk after a nightly hunt. It will build another spiral web this evening. The large barn spiders are also part of this group. They may hide during the daytime, but like other orb weavers, they quickly attack and swathe prey trapped in their webs, bite to kill, and allow their unique saliva to liquefy the prey's organs for a fluid meal. Smaller orb weavers, like spiny microthenas found along forest edges, do the same. Unique stretch spiders build webs to catch prey along water's edges. Look closely and you'll find them hiding in vegetation like cardinal flowers. Other spiders are free hunters. They use silk but don't build webs. The jumping spiders have excellent eyesight. They stalk and pounce on prey, killing it with a fast bite. They eat insects and even other spiders. Here a Texas jumping spider guards her egg sac. Crab spiders are free hunters that rely on camouflage and stealth. They sit quietly in flowers and kill prey that nectar in the blossoms. The unseen spiders strike lightning fast when victims feed within reach. It's a thrill to find wolf spiders, but they're mainly seen at night. Burrowing wolves live deep in tunnels by day, coming out to roam and hunt in grass during darkness. They pounce and grapple, quickly subduing large insects like grasshoppers. This one, a geolycosa, is especially shy and hard to spot above ground. The giant Carolina wolf may hunt close to its burrow even in daylight. Other relatives, also quite large, hunt moths in the grass under cover of darkness. I filmed this one last night. Most spiders lay eggs in silken pouches and simply leave their hatchlings to fend for themselves. But wolf spiders guard their babies, allowing them to ride along as they hunt. This makes a unique, even macabre, sight when these giant spiders are festooned with little ones. This might even elicit a scream from faint of heart viewers. I've been happy to find some of Kansas' largest spiders on my place, including a giant tarantula found last week. These spiders also live in burrows and free hunt their victims, which include prey up to the size of mice. The giant Dolomites fishing spider is maybe second largest in the state of Kansas. They live near streams and ponds, but can also be found camouflaged around dead trees. This one came out of a tree hole late at night. This barely scratches the surface on a mystical wildlife group. Spiders are not to be feared. Almost none are dangerous to humans. 
but dig into their habits and you'll find an unending path of discovery. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.